Hey there, YouTube. This is the Redstone Warrior here, wanting to uh, show you some great things. Uh, first thing is probably going to have to be this ram I built. It is two blocks wide for every bit, and sorry if I'm a little tired of giving this. My computer has literally been crashing nonstop for a while. I guess it can't handle the uh, giant theater I have back there. Uh, giant 16 by 32 screen just crashes every now and then. Can't explain it. Anyways, it's this RAM is two blocks wide for bit per bit. Uh, it has an input and it has a clock. You don't have to reset it or anything. So if you keep it clocked, it will always equal the input. This is the output. You can catch it on the other side, and it's very simple, very easy. And this is one 16-bit byte. I'm very happy with it. It was inspired by Shrog 2, his design. Uh, uh, the reason is he built a very s small, skinny RAM. I tried it before, but I never really put much effort into it because, well, I had plenty of space. Here is, so this is the RAM. It's very skinny. Here's what it looks like. You can stack it next to each other, which is physically the po smallest possible way. For this, the skinniest you can make it, two blocks wide. Otherwise, every single piece of redstone would touch each other. So uh, you have the clock down here, goes into here. Uh, I'm actually, I've decided I'm not going to show you uh, its workings quite yet, if you can't already deduce it from just looking at it. But uh, I'm going to make a series of tutorial videos that's, that will include things like uh, this carry look head, 2 big carry look head I made, which I can't find a single schematic for on YouTube or the internet for that matter, that isn't faulty. I think I found one, but I don't remember that. Uh, another thing, uh, this screen, 8 bytes screen, I have it hooked up to 4 bytes of RAM, so I left that corner light on for a reason, so you, I could see, you could see it. It One light is on, it's 8 by 8 and this, mem this screen is now at the computer's mercy. I can hook it up and tell it to set anything to any of the screen's bytes. So it's now off because I changed the value manually. Here's what the new stack looks like of memory. I didn't incorporate into the screen. I'm probably only going to do that when I use the 32x16 screen and I really get serious about memory and all that. Here's what the old RAM stack looked like. Here's what the new one looks like, much skinnier. I haven't hooked it up yet, but it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, so I'm going to make a series of tutorials on making certain redstone elements like the uh, carry look ahead or the decoder. Things that are very generic. Uh, very s specialized things such as the adder slash uh, ander portion of my ALU I won't include. And that's basically all I have to say. Uh, if I think of anything else to say, I'll probably post it in the comments. With the redstone warrior saying thanks for watching and more to come.